Hello everyone. I have two videos this week for you. Um, I'm doing two videos because I wanted to break up the videos into the lifestyle craft section and the um, pop-ups by plain class section. And the reason I'm doing that is I do think the lifestyle crafts will sell out and then once they're gone I can't get any more. So I wanted to make that so I could take that off of my YouTube and off of my blog so later on down the road people won't be disappointed that they can't get these dies anymore. But the um, pop-ups or in the geo dies will be available to reorder so those should be available for a good long time yet. So the first die we have here and I'm calling this my Halloween release because I made everything look Halloweenish. And the first die I have is called the Dimensional Tree by Lifestyle Crafts. And it is number um, DC0197. And it is a set of, it says three dies, but in all actuality, it's really like having um, five dies because here we have three leaves that are connected. They call that one. And then the tree that makes the dimensional die. And then a little uh, frilly uh, loop that in case you want to make it like a heritage tree die. And I'm going to show you what this makes. It makes this beautiful tree. And you can see we're looking down at it. So it's very dimensional. I'm going to pan out there. And you can see just how really cool I'm going to lift it this is and it's four-sided. You cut it out four times and you can kind of stick the leaves on of different colors. And I made mine for fall and of course you could do them all in green or you could do them bare and um, put some crows in it if you have some crows dyes or um, some owls for fall. And then of course for winter you could um, put some of that fake snow on it. But I made this one up for my dad to bring to the nursing home, and I just thought it would be a cute little decoration for him to have. And nothing, no big problem if it gets destroyed, lost, or taken. It's just something I made, and it's very easy to have around. And you can just see how cute that is. Now another thing I want to point out to this is this die will indeed fold flat, and you could mail this to somebody. See? Tuck, tuck that nicely into some thick paper in a nice envelope and you could mail that to somebody. And wouldn't that be a great card to just give the instructions and tell them to kind of fluff it open and then they'd have this dimensional card. And then the other thing is you can make it three-sided, take away one of them, put these two down in a, um, a scrapbook page and then push this one one way or the other and that will give a dimensional scrapbook page which those are the kind of scrapbooks I like to make are ones that pop up, move, make things so that would be right up my alley to um, put the two down and then have this one kind of pop up when you open it be really a lot of fun and then when I bring this to my dad I'm just going to throw the little leaves on his nightstand there to make it kind of look like they fell off the tree and that way if we lose a few no harm done but I do think this is a really fun, fun uh, die, and I think you'll enjoy it if you buy it and find lots of uses for it. And also, I wanted to show you the little, that's what the uh, little um, doily looks like that you could use to make um, a heritage kind of collection. You could put little tiny pictures in there and hang it from the tree and then write people's names on it. And I think that's a really cool idea, too. And it, so it's actually a heritage tree, which is kind of fun. And then my next one, it's another dimensional one. I always like dimensional things, and I try to buy them if I can get them for you, because I think other people like to make things, too. This is called Pumpkins, and it's a set of four dies. And it is number DC0192. It's the large pumpkin, small pumpkin, the leaf, and the vine. And those are the four dies. And what they do is they like the recommendation from Lifestyle Crafts is to make three of them. And I'll show you here what I did. And you join them like a tri like a triangle. So you would adhere the glue. You cut three and adhere glue here, here, and here, and then join them and it makes this dimensional pumpkin. 
and then I just added some of, I took the vines and I, I put that around a pencil to bend it and added a leaf. And what I would do with this is, again, I think with my dad in the nursing home, what I might do is put some tissue paper in, in here and let it come out um, and then fill it up with little treats for some of his nursing staff that are extra special for him. The other idea I had for this die was to um, just use two and bind it here with a, a coil binder and make an, a little note um, book, a notepad for scrap paper for like a little notepad for somebody or to um, um, make a little mini album. I think that would be really cute too. And then what I did for the little die, I didn't make three, I made four. And you can see there's my square. And I took, I just took a, um, uh, scored it along to make it square. So it took a little bit of, of that edge you can see there away. And then I took the Martha Stewart um, all around the page punch and I did this little um, little face in there and I thought this would be a really cute little tea light and I do have a tea light here to show you and I'll try to turn the pages turn turn the pages turn the lights down so you can kind of get the idea let's see, let's, let me really get the lights down here I'm in the dark here for a minute everybody and then just kind of put a, this is a special light for a pumpkin, but you can kind of see how it glows and makes the little pumpkin face there um, pop up. And that, again, that's just the lights in there. And you can kind of see how that works. I think that's a really cute little gift too. And that'll probably end up going to my dad too. So hope you enjoy these two sets. If you have any questions, please email me and please visit my um, blog for future um, things that may come down. Follow my blog and also the prices will be there. And please watch the next video. I'm going to have a couple more Halloween things. But again, I just wanted to show you the lifestyle crafts things first. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.